I bought my first stock when I was 11 years old. It was the first quarter of 1942, shortly after Pearl Harbor. I spent $114.75, three, three shares. If I put that 114 into the S&P 500 at that time and reinvested the dividends, think of a figure as to what it might be, would be worth today. Oh man. Well, it's, okay, you know, I, I just want right. your audience to think okay. for a second. Okay. The, answer, okay. the answer is about $400,000. Uh. I never know what markets are going to do. Uh, there's never been a time in my life when I, I, I know what markets are going to do over a long period of time. They're going to go up. But uh, in terms of what's going to happen in a day or a week or a month or a year even, I never felt that I knew it and I never felt that it was important. I, I, I will say that in 10 or 20 or 30 years, I think stocks will be a lot higher than they are now. So we're almost always a buyer of stocks and we're a more aggressive buyer when they're going down. I mean, I, I feel much better when they're going down, but uh, it's hard to think of very many months when we haven't been a net buyer of stocks. When stocks go down, it's good news. Just like when hamburgers go down, it's good news. Or Coca-Cola goes down, it's good news in terms of anything I buy. Uh, but, you know, stocks are going to go down. You can probably look it up as to what percent of the days, of the, you know, since I was born, they've gone down and maybe it'd be uh, 30% or something like that. And, and you, you can't predict what stocks will do but in, in the short run. But you can predict that American business will do well over time. And uh, just take the 20th century. Stocks went from 66, the Dow average, 66 to 11,497. And, and you were getting three times as much in dividends as the whole average was selling for at the start. And you had you had two world wars and you had a great depression, flu epidemics, all kinds of things. Uh, uh, American business will do fine over time. And if you own a piece of it, and if you don't beat yourself, the only, the only person that can cause you to get a bad result in stocks is yourself. <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, we've talked before how since the fall of 2009, overall, the economy's just kept moving up around 2%. And people talked about double, a double dip. You remember hearing that, you know, three or four years ago. And, and then they talk about it accelerating. And in the end, it seems to be gaining about 2% most of the time. And, and uh, you know, that is not a bad clip, incidentally. I mean, it, it'll take you a long way. But uh, I don't... I don't think I know what business will do next next month or next year. I mean, I bought my first stock, 1942, I was 11, and Pearl Harbor had happened three or four months earlier. We were losing the war. I mean, if, if you want to talk about a bad outlook <laughs> for the country, uh, now nobody thought we were going to lose the war, but at that time we were getting clobbered in the Pacific. And, uh, but the Dow Jones average was 100. I mean, you know, and, and it was a good time to buy stocks. Uh, I bought, I bought stocks after 9-11. Uh, I bought stocks in 1987 after the, the big crash in the fall. Uh, uh, it, the country's not going to go away. The plants aren't going to go away. The people aren't going to go away. The talents aren't going to go away. It, it, the country will grow in value over time. Now, who gets it is another question, but, but it'll grow in value. And if it grows in value, businesses will grow in value. So it's a terrible mistake to buy or sell stocks based on what you think business is going to do next month or next, uh, next, even next year. I thought the first eight years, I thought the important thing was to pr predict what a stock would do and predict the stock market. And then I read Ben Graham, you know, when I was 19 or 20, and I realized that I was doing it exactly the wrong way. And but. It didn't hurt that I had that background and everything. I, I rejiggered my mind and when I read the book, the Intelligent Investor. And at, from that point, I never bought another stock. I bought businesses that happened to be publicly traded. But I became an owner of a business. And I did not, I did not care whether a stock went up or down the next day or the next week or the next month or the next year. And I didn't have any idea what it would do. I didn't know what the stock market would do but our new businesses.